Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad free over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Ray's Days, episode 164. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by moi, Ray Taylor. Every Saturday I share updates on my journey as an artist, podcaster, business owner, and human being. I'm excited to share my experience with you and hope that my journey can serve as a source of inspiration and positivity for you. In this episode, I'm detailing, I'm talking about in detail my thoughts and the process that I go through doing user-generated content. I've been doing it for the past month to make money to help survive through the summer. And if somebody's looking to make extra money, interested in doing this stuff, basically making videos and taking pictures of products and getting paid for it, I'm going to detail what I do, what the process is like for me. I'm also talking about updates on uh, my meal prep. I talked that I'm changing my diet, changing up my diet last week. Uh, So I'm going to give updates on the meal prep I'm doing, also updates on my whole acid reflux situation as I'm trying to get away from taking those uh, medications and things, Uh, and also going to give updates on my mental health. I talked about uh, being depressed, uh, dealing with depression these past few weeks, and kind of going to give an update on all of that stuff. And at the end of every episode, as I like to do, I will be sharing something I am thankful for. Big, small, metaphorical, complex, an idea at the end of the episode. I'm going to share that with you. Let's get into this episode. Uh, Doing more of the UGC, obviously, as the the company that I'm going through, which you can sign up, go to my website, inspiredisorder.com, click on the UGC link. There's a a link there if you want to sign up to do this yourself, and we'll get a little bonus if you sign up through my link. Uh, But the company is called joinbrands.com, and you sign up, you do some certification stuff, and, you know, to prove that you know how to take a picture and can do like an unboxing video, a product review, little things. They're very easy to do to get the certifications. You can sign up to connect your TikTok account, your YouTube account. If you want to, certain jobs require you to post stuff to those accounts, uh, which I've done for TikTok for two jobs so far. Uh, But I'm noticing, so that's, if you want to start doing that, that's what you do. So as I've been doing it, I've noticed there is a delay. So despite everything being very easy to do, the amount of time it takes to actually do the things, like a lot of jobs are just me taking a picture a selfie with a product um but then there's other things that are more involved uh like the tiktok videos i did a promo for a uh environmentally friendly deodorant uh company that makes environmentally friendly kind of uh, products like toiletries like that uh, i also did one for a solar light those are a little bit more involved you know, you have to be comfortable filming stuff, editing stuff, maybe doing voiceover stuff. Uh, so some of them can be more involved. Some of them can be fairly easy. But either way, creating the content doesn't take a lot of time. But there is definitely a delay in first you apply for the jobs, right? There's a, a list of all of the jobs that are available to you depending on the certifications you've done. And you look, click on the job, you see what the product is, you see what they're looking for, whether it's a selfie with the product, a lifestyle picture with the product, or maybe they want a review of the product or an unboxing video with the product. It tells you exactly what they're looking for. It tells you what they're going to pay for that job. It's also going to tell you whether they're going to send you the product directly or if you have to purchase it yourself and then they reimburse you, right? So you apply... I would recommend apply for every single job you think you would want to do because you have to play the numbers. The majority of jobs you apply to, you will not get accepted for. And if you go to the site, I can't imagine how many people are on this all applying for jobs. So it's like, you know, 
it, I, I imagine a lot of these jobs, there's, you know, so many people trying to get these jobs. So I would recommend apply to as many as you think you could do. Right. And, and, you know, for me, I'm kind of pushing myself. It's like, I think I could do something like that. I think I can do, you know, it'd be interesting to try. I, I, I like to try and push myself to challenge myself. Um, and then every once in a while you'll get accepted for one of these jobs. Like well, I've heard one out of 10, I don't know how accurate that is. I mean, it seems about one out of 10. And then sometimes people will just contact you directly because as you do jobs, you can upload your pictures and videos to your portfolio. So you have a little profile so they can see a picture of you. They can see your portfolio of other jobs you've done. You can write in a little bio. Um, so, so some things I've done, people just contacted me directly offering me would you like to do this thing? So in addition to you applying for jobs, sometimes they'll reach out directly. Um, so then you say you get accepted for a job, right? Say I applied to something I see on my phone. Oh, they've accepted your thing. And then you go, you click to accept the job. Now, if they're going to send you the product directly, you have to verify your address. If not, if you have to buy the product, then you have, up to 24 hours to purchase the product. And when you do purchase the product, you have to click a button that says, I purchased the product, which generally you do throw do, do so through Amazon. Uh, everyone has been through Amazon so far. And you have to copy the, the order number from the order that you placed into a little box when you to accept it. So that way they see that you actually did order the product. Um, and also tracks, I'm sure, if you try to return the product. So don't return the products. But when you sign up, you get accepted, you go to purchase the product, you have 24 hours to purchase it, which for me, some products on Amazon, because I don't have Prime, I have to get over a certain dollar amount. So sometimes I try to pick up more jobs so that I have I can order multiple products that will allow me to get free shipping because they don't reimburse you for shipping costs. So you want to try and get free shipping. Um, so click, you put in, when you order it, you say I ordered it and you put in the order number. Then they give you a certain amount of days uh, of buffer time for you to receive the product, right? Usually like five days or whatever. So it gives you a buffer, a good amount of buffer. And what I've seen, especially in the times where they send you the product directly, they, they don't always, you know, ship it out fast. So I've seen that deadline approach for that on their end and nothing happens. Um, and I, I don't know what would happen if on my end it went too far, but as soon as I receive the product, which usually shows up early, well within the buffer of time I have to receive the product, I click that I receive the product, and then it gives me a certain amount of days to create the content, right? It gives you like five days to create the content. And then depending on when you do the content, even if you do the content immediately, like say it's a selfie, you take a picture with the product, um, and you submit the product, you have to double check, make sure the format that they are looking for. I've noticed in multiple times with, especially with the selfies, sometimes they want square aspect ratio. Sometimes they want nine by 16 or 16 by, yeah, nine by 16 portrait. Sometimes they want uh, landscape mode, uh, similar thing with the video. So before you create the content, double check the job description, make sure you have you're doing all of the things that you, they want you to do and make sure you're capturing it in the proper aspect ratio. Because I've noticed times where I've taken it uh, with the wrong aspect ratio. And when I go to upload the content, it immediately says, you know, decline, not the, not the right format. Um, but you take the picture or whatever it is, you create the content and then you go and you upload the content. And once you submitted the content, First you upload it, then you click submit content and you can do more. If they ask for one pic, you can do like 20 pictures. And in theory, they can pay you more if they use more of those pictures. So far, I haven't experienced that. I've, I haven't really done extra or uploaded extra. 
But then after you upload it, then they get a certain amount of time to approve the video and there's or picture. And there's only been one time where they contacted me where they needed to make a change. And they had a script change that they needed to do, but also how I recorded it, they needed it done differently. So, um, which I'm perfectly fine to do. I haven't had anybody, haven't had any issues with companies like really nitpicking things or being critical of the work I've done. All, everything except for the one that was a script difference and I had used a green screen instead of actually being in a place. Uh, they wanted me to actually be in a place. Um, that was the only time where they got back to me. But they have a buffer. The company will have a buffer to accept the content. And if it's content like pictures or videos that don't require social media, once they accept it, you get paid. You get paid whatever the price was, whatever the job was going to pay, plus if you bought the product, whatever you paid for the product, you get reimbursed that money as well. Um, and that automatically goes through. So the website acts as like kind of this escrow middleman where the company will pay all of that money up front. And once you they accept the content, then that money gets released to you. So that's kind of what this 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 website join brands does. And of course, they take a percentage. So like if you're getting paid fifteen dollars to take a selfie with a product, you're going to get like twelve dollars, something to keep in mind as well. But you get obviously all of the money that you were reimbursed. Again, don't return the product. However, you can definitely resell the products. I don't see why that would be a problem. Um, definitely don't return it. Let's take a quick break from this episode to talk about attention, attention all, all Ray, Ray Taylor, Taylor Show, Show fans. fans. We're excited to announce we've just released a line of exclusive merchandise featuring original artwork inspired by the show. Our high quality shirts and biodegradable phone cases are a perfect way to show your support for the show and make a great gift for any fan. Plus, with each purchase, you'll be helping us continue to bring you great content. So don't wait. Head on over to InspireDisorder.com now and check out the full collection. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll show your support by grabbing some Ray Taylor Show merchandise today. And now, let's get back to the show. And if it is a situation where you're doing a TikTok video, then once they approve that, then you upload it to your TikTok account and it has to be on your TikTok account for at least seven days. After that, you can delete it if you want or keep it up there, but you don't get paid until that seven days is up, um, which I've done two so far and one of them is currently going. Uh, so it's still going to be a few days. So doing something like the TikTok stuff, which don't pay well but i've used as an opportunity just to kind of push myself and practice and do things which i think will help with my portfolio uh they also take the most amount of time because even after they accept your content there's still an additional seven days that it has to be on your account before you get paid but everything else pays out right away it's been super easy um, it seemed like there was a lot more accepting of applications at the beginning of the month. And as the month has gone on, it's gotten less, uh, which I think, I don't know how common that is. This has been the first month, but it definitely seems like, uh, I'm not getting hit up as often or my applications aren't being, uh, accepted as often as they were at the beginning. But regardless so far, it's been good. And as you do more, it basically there's different levels. So you start off at level one and say you do all the certification. You start off at level one, which gives you a certain chunk of jobs that are available to you. Then level two, there's more jobs open up to you and they tend to be higher paying jobs, jobs. And also you can take on more jobs. Level one, you can only have five jobs going at the same time. Level two, you can have up to 10, I think. And then level three, it's just open-ended. So the more you do, the more you can uh, accept and do in general. So that's been my experience so far. I've done a couple TikTok videos, um, which you may have seen. One is on my art account. One is on my Ray Taylor Show account. The most recent one being the Solar Light 
is on uh, this podcast's account. Uh, I've done one product review so far. Uh, I've done a bunch of selfies with products. Um, so I've gotten a bunch of products, some of which I have no use for, some of which uh, are kind of cool, like the solar light is great. I gave it, you know, a gift to my roommate. Uh, it's like a $300 light or something like that that I got basic. I got for free. I got paid five bucks. It didn't, I didn't get, but like, sure, I'll get a free light. I'll do this video for you. Sure. Deodorant, five bucks. But it's like, yeah, I'll do this video. Sure. It's like, but also as I'm doing this, right, I'm building a portfolio. And if there's other brands that want to contact me to do these things and pay me more, as I'm kind of getting the idea of what I can get paid uh, with some of the other video type of jobs that are 100, 100 plus dollars. Um, it's only going to help me long term. So I've done a bunch of d different kinds of, of jobs. Um, some, so I have a lot of products also. Some I use, like there's, uh, you know, sleep gummies and like lithium gummies that are like mood stabilizers. Uh, there's uh, an alcohol infuser that I'm going to be doing a uh, like a how to I think it's like a review, but I'm do making it have to make a cocktail with it. Super interesting. I'm going to give that away as a gift. The solar light gave away as a gift. So it's like, you know, it's it's also, you know, you're getting stuff, too, which is kind of cool. And as far as like the the videos that I've done, like the review or the the TikTok videos that I've done. I've used ChatGPT to write the scripts, and usually I'll tweak the scripts to make them sound more like how I speak. But as far as, so I don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out, like, I know what they want. I'll be like, ChatGPT, write me a script. And sometimes I'll do, like, for the, uh, for the deodorant one, I'm like, ChatGPT, I need, I'm going to be promoting a product on my TikTok. I need you to create a script and a shot list for me. And here are the requirements that they want from they want me to make sure I hit on while doing this. And it gave me it's like, OK, here's a shot. You want a shot of the close up. You're going to want a close up of you refilling the deodorant. Uh, and I had a plan. I was like, well, I wanted to tie it in with my artwork and doing live shows. So I was like, I can do a time lapse of me setting up my studio to paint. I have a video of me at an art event. And it's like, OK, use this here while you're saying this. And it gave me the entire script and it gave me all the shots in what order to put them in. Makes it so much easier. So much easier. So a great tool, ChatGPT, to help you write scripts and do these different things. And it's helped me out a lot because sometimes, I don't know, it, it just makes it makes it so much easier. And then you just have to tweak a few things and it works out perfectly. Um, So, yeah, making money and way better than driving Uber and Lyft, which there's so much overhead doing those kinds of jobs, like having to pay for gas, having to pay for, you know, maintenance on your car, insurance on your car, all of these things. So much overhead that you have to make so much more doing those jobs, whereas all of this stuff I can do from home. So the overhead is nothing aside from the time it takes and just kind of the operating costs of purchasing the products before I get reimbursed. But other than that, it's like an easy way. I've made a few hundred dollars this past month. And I, I know the person I heard about this from made like $700 in his first month. So I don't know how I didn't get as many jobs as he did but it doesn't matter it's still good especially for a start and as it's opened up i've been able to get more jobs and i and i like it so i enjoy it so if you want to sign up it sounds interesting to you head on over to my website inspiredisorder.com click on the ugc link or i'm sure if you just go inspiredisorder.com slash ugc stands for user generated content uh there's sign up and i'm working on building out that page on my website so that uh to like show the portfolio of my work and also for links 
for people to purchase these products that I've been doing and with affiliate links so that if you go and purchase it, I get a little kickback um, for all this stuff. So interesting. I'm also looking into doing voiceover jobs as some of these jobs for join brands have been a lot of voiceover stuff, which I enjoy doing. Um, I'm looking into doing those voice uh, looking. There's a lot of similar type of online type marketplaces for people who do voiceover. So as just another way to bring in extra money, you know, me reading scripts of things uh, and editing them. I'm pretty, pretty used to doing that. I'll probably have to like build a little, like more of a soundproof recording situation that is a little bit better than my podcasting situation. But other than that, I've seen pretty inexpensive ways of kind of doing little at home recording studio setups. Um, so yeah, so that's primarily what I've been doing as far as income is concerned. Uh, meal prep, as I said, changing my diet, a lot more rice and beans. I've been doing more meal prep. Um, you know, just kind of cooking a lot of that stuff together and putting it in di different dishes and stuff like that. Really trying to cut my grocery bill down. And, uh, you know, it's helped like it, it helps just like not think about stuff. And I've done I've never really done meal prep before. And just being able to like pull out this container and put it in the microwave to reheat it and then eat and not have to think about what I'm making for dinner or whatever. Um, I guess the only time I was kind of doing meal prep was uh, HelloFresh during the pandemic where I would, you know, it would they would give me like the uh, the amount of ingredients for like four servings. So I usually spread that out over two or three days. Um, but, yeah, doing this, it's it's definitely helped just not think about that stuff, which helps considering I'm juggling so much stuff. Uh, also dealing with the acid reflux stuff, it was going well, but then because I have to do this alcohol infused thing, I got some alcohol. So I drank the other night. Let me tell you the next day I had by far the worst acid reflux all day and it, nothing I took got rid of it. It was horrible. So I don't know. I'm not doing as good with the whole acid reflux war. Uh, I decided the past couple days, just because I don't want to deal with it, uh, took the medicine that I used to take. Uh, but I'm still going to keep trying to go back to it and just not trying to do too many things at once. Because that's usually what I'll, I'll do that. I'll get burnt out and then nothing gets changed. So getting more focused on just changing my diet than get focused on cutting out the acid reflux medicine uh and all that stuff but uh yeah mostly it was going okay but it was still like it sucks dealing with acid reflux and even though it wasn't as bad as i know it can get for mo the most part but just having any moments where it like starts to come up is just so uncomfortable and just so like i i just i hate it man i hate it so is take a quick break from this episode because I want to promote. Are you looking for a way to take your love of the Ray Taylor show to the next level? Look no further than Inspire Disorder Plus. As a member, you'll get access to a whole host of amazing perks, including the full week of shows, ad-free in both audio and video versions, a live painting archive, early access to the many faces, members-only discounts and deals, a podcast back catalog with over 600 episodes. But that's not all. As a member, you'll get access to my personal blog as well as my creative writing. You'll also get Get the chance to ask me anything you want with all of these benefits and more inspire disorder plus is a must have for any fan of the ray taylor show so don't wait go sign up now head on over to inspire disorder.com slash plus and start enjoying all of the amazing perks of the membership and now let's get back to the show since there's probably not going to be at this point doesn't seem like there's going to be any events live events for the summer, which even if there were, I don't know if I would be in them, considering how slow the last two events were over the past couple months, uh, or at least last month. Um, I'm kind of just more focused on 
making sure I know what events are going to be coming up at the end of the year. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and focus on getting more merch out, new shirt designs. Um, also going to experiment again with setting up an Etsy account to see just to put some of the kind of um, experiment with different designs and different things uh, to try and see if I can get that a store on Etsy to kind of get going uh, because the printful uh, service that is integrated with my Squarespace website they also integrate with Etsy so you know setting up t-shirt designs and prints and those things I can have it all automatically automated so I don't really have to do anything aside from designing it and posting it so now that I have more time I'm going to be setting those things up but also just trying to get new shirt designs because I've done like hundreds of new paintings since the last time I've created new shirts I may also try and uh, just limit the release like only have shirts available for a certain amount of time and then if they don't order then they just disappear um, that way there's not just a massive library of designs for people to choose from um, so some things I'm planning on working on over the summer months it's sweating I'm like drenched in sweat right now because uh, it's been a lot to juggle especially doing the events and now the addition of this user generated content juggling a lot of stuff doing so much more stuff now still trying to keep everything organized i mean that's the key to me being able to do all this stuff in general um i mean i've been working pretty much every day all day i can't remember the last time i wasn't i mean the closest to me not working is watching a movie that i'm reviewing which I'm still taking notes on a movie that I'm reviewing. Or if I'm watching movies for a top five where I'm not necessarily reviewing, I still have to pay attention to it. That's probably the closest to not working I get these days. Uh, maybe at the very end of the day when I'm winding down, I will kind of tap out and put on a show. Uh, but I, I just feel like I've been working nonstop and keeping everything uh, organized is kind of the key. And... Like, so much that I haven't pl been playing Call of Duty. Like, I was, like, while I was working, like, barely getting stuff done. Um, I was like, man, I really, w I really just want to take a day and not do anything but play Call of Duty all day. Like, I would love to just not do anything for a day, which I don't know when that would ever happen. But maybe. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with not having enough time to play Call of Duty. Um, but I have been part of one of the th reasons why I think... I'm barely getting everything done. I mean, obviously I'm doing more, but also I am still feeling depressed on edge. So I am kind of moving slow. I'm not, it's, I'm definitely not as focused. So like I, I, I get distracted super easy. My motivation is lacking. So I'm moving slow, getting started slow. Also just super tired all of the time. Um, I'm not sleeping great, so that's not great. So just kind of barely getting stuff done, which I'm used to, you know, sadly dealing with severe depression my entire life off and on. Uh, I, I know what it's like to just barely get the things necessary done for the day, but you know, it's not the greatest, uh, greatest kind of way to be efficient. I mean, I'm just, it, it sucks. It, it's added pressure when you're just trying to get the things done in time but anyway that's been my week at the end of every episode i like to highlight something that i'm thankful for and this week i am thankful for rice cookers uh, i got a very inexpensive rice cooker this past week for the meal prep that i'm doing and i love rice cookers man it is amazing they're like toaster ovens for rice. I mean, at least this super inexpensive one is, right? You, you put the rice in. You wash the rice, but you put the rice in. My dog is going crazy. Put the rice in. Like, depending on how many cups of rice you put in, there are numbers of levels inside that tell you how much water to put in. So if you put one scoop of rice in, you put up to the level of water where one is. 
and then you push down on the the one switch that's on the device, like a toaster, right? We push the switch down, the toast goes in the toaster, the rice cooker goes into cook mode, and when it's done cooking, it pops up into warm mode, like the toast when it's done pops up, and it keeps it keeps it warm for like I don't know however long you need it to keep warm for. It's super easy. It's it's so perfect. I'm so glad it's easy because that means that I will use it a lot, which I love tools that I use a lot. And this is a tool that I'm going to use a lot. I like rice. I like the foods that I'm making right now that are very basic, despite the fact that they're just beans, rice and broccoli or whatever. But, you know, you throw some soy sauce on that. You throw some spices, throw some seasoning. I'm planning on making some curry, getting into making curry. So that's going to be a fun addition to add to this kind of meal prep that I'm doing. But rice cooker is so amazing, so great. I mean, it's just such a great device. And I haven't used it to cook other things yet, which, like, you can use it for cooking beans and steaming vegetables and stuff like that. I haven't done any of that stuff yet. But just, just the ease at which it, you can make rice not that making rice in a pot on the stove isn't hard, but this you don't even have to think about. You pour the things in there, hit the button, and then you just go do your thing. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to worry about it boiling over. You don't have to go from high to, to simmer it or any of that stuff. It's great. And it's gonna, it helped me cut my, my grocery budget even more, so I'm spending even less money. And hopefully it will allow me to, because I'm eating these things that have a lot more fiber in them, I, I don't have, I'm not craving food anymore, right? I eat in the morning, I'll eat like uh, oatmeal in the morning of oatmeal, put a little vanilla extract in there, put a little cinnamon um, and a little dash of salt, throw it in the microwave for three minutes, put some honey on top of it, bam, also a scoop of chia seeds on there eat that for breakfast i am not hungry at all for most of the day until at night and then i pull out one of these little containers of this you know beans rice and vegetable put it in the microwave heat it up eat that boom i am good i'm not hungry i'm not craving anything right so good so i don't know i'm uh you know hopeful that i will be able to lose weight as well uh and not drinking anymore really kind of helps that too because drinking gave me the munchies far more than smoking weed i'm also not smoking weed so the whole munchies thing really doesn't exist as much anymore but even still like i have a little microwave popcorn popper where it's like this microwave bowl thing you put the the uh popcorn kernels in you pour put a pour a dash of oil in there and throw it in the microwave so i don't have to buy like the bags of popcorn or whatever it's great um so that's what I, that's my week that's what I'm thankful for, rice cookers. Uh, the only events I have coming up are the live painting events, which are every Thursday at 420 over on YouTube.com slash Inspired Disorder. But if I do have updates, which I will have events later on in the year, and maybe if something does come up, I will post all of those on my website, InspiredDisorder.com slash events for details on all of the live and local upcoming events that I will be a part of. I'm also thankful for the opportunity to connect with all of you through this podcast and for the chance to share my journey with you. Please join the conversation by leaving a comment or rating on your favorite podcast platform or over on youtube.com slash inspired disorder. If you're watching these as all of the episodes are available on YouTube, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all next Saturday for another episode of Raise Days! New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.